Yeah. Uh, I think there were a few of us who were surprised, to say the least, at your uh, um, advocacy of Ron Paul for uh, our, our party candidate in the last election. I wonder if you have any thoughts about it, if you intend to get involved in the 92 campaign, if you have anybody in mind. or I'm always involved every campaign. <laughs> I don't I haven't got anybody in mind particularly now. Uh, you know, with whoever comes forth and the best, I think a certain, uh, uh, I think a candidate should be a credible candidate, should be somebody who the American public can identify with as a political leader, somebody who might be, might be conceivable as a president. See, that's my problem with nominating people who are obviously not president. There's no word as president Dobbyland, it's like Pop Dobbyland, the Pope, somebody who's a, a credible papal candidate. So I think we should put up somebody who the American public would look at as a possible credible candidate, like Dick Jacobs, out-debated, out what's regal, you know, that sort of stuff, somebody could out-debate the establishment, if Ronald Boger knocked the socks off of Bush, be clear. So, I mean, that sort of thing. Then, two, I think is you should have somebody who can raise money, if you need money for a presidential campaign, and Ron had the ability to do that. So, I think that, and somebody who's a pure libertarian, not going to waffle or sell out, which I think is also true. I think there were mistakes in his campaign, but I mean, that's, you know, that's, should, have, should be corrected, <clears throat> but for the future presidential nominee.